Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Tech Conversations. I'm your host Guillermo. It is August 25th. Hope you're all having a great day today. As you can see, very slight green day for me, up only $80 today. So we'll see what the rest of the day brings us. Now in today's video, I want to talk about something very important. What to do when your options trade won't close out. And this is something that's very important to know, uh, especially if you're trading options. So before I get into this, all I ask is that you guys hit the like button down below and subscribe guys, it really helps out the channel. So I'm always talking about how it's very important to know how to close an options trade before you even enter that options trade. Well, we're gonna talk about something a little bit different. Let's pretend you entered an options trade. You know how to close that options trade. You went ahead and tried to close that options trade, but it's not closing. It doesn't want to close. What can you do? And the motivation for this video comes from basically getting asked this question every single day. Someone entered an options trade. They went to close it. It's not closing out. But it also comes from the fact that we had a few members who entered a Starbucks trade uh, a while back and they were trying to close it, but they weren't on, they were not able to. And so let me show you that trade here very quickly. So this was a spread on Starbucks. As you see, they bought a call at the 132 strike, sold a call at the 133 strike. Starbucks was at 118. So these were almost worthless. They were both worth $2, meaning the spread was worth $0. Right? How can you close something that's worth $0? And the reason they were trying to close out of this is because Starbucks had the X dividend date coming up. Robinhood messaged them, said that they were at risk of assignment and uh, because you know they sold call options, anytime you sell an option, there is risk of assignment. Early assignment is generally related to the X dividend. And so they were scrambling to try to close out of this to avoid being early assigned. But again, it was worth $0, so it was very hard for them to do it. But I was able to help them do it by having them do what I'm about to show you here, okay? And I will say that 99% of the time that you're not able to close out of a trade, it's gonna be because it's a multi-leg strategy. There's more than one option involved with that trade, as was with this transaction here, right? There was two different options here. They bought a call at the 132, they sold a call at the 133. And so for this video, I actually entered a multi-leg strategy so that I could show you guys how you would do this. And so let me show you that here very quickly. So this is a four option strategy. This is on gold, currently up three bucks here. And this is an iron butterfly, right? I really like the iron butterfly. And so let me just show you the trade here very quickly. So ultimately I sold a put and I sold a call at the same strike, 1950, which is basically the price that I believed this will be at on expiration date. And then I went ahead and I bought a call right above the strike of the options I sold. And I bought a put right below the strike, uh, the strikes of the options I sold. And of course, these are equidistant from the options I sold, the ones that I bought. So this is 0.5 away from these, and this is 0.5 away from these. So this is the iron butterfly, received a credit of $37, put up a collateral of 50, meaning my max risk here is $13. Now, before I show you guys here what you can do, let's just briefly talk about why you might be getting yourself into these situations in the first place so that we can avoid getting into these situations to begin with. So let's go back here and I'm just gonna quickly go to ticker symbol BLD. So this is gonna be top build, okay? So this is top build. Let's go to the options for top build. So uh, the reason that you're getting into these situations most of the time is gonna be related to liquidity. Liquidity refers to how easily or quickly a security can be bought or sold. And securities with low liquidity will be difficult to sell. Now, how do you determine the liquidity of an option? The quickest way to determine it is by looking at its bid ask spread. So let's say I wanted to buy a call option on this stock, the $220 strike. If I click on this and I do continue, look at the bid ask. 680, 770. That's very wide apart. What this is telling me is that the most someone is willing to pay for this option is $680. The least someone is willing to sell an option is $770. So it's kind of a conflict of interest there. And so the bid ask spread is the difference between the highest uh, price that someone is willing to pay and the lowest, pr lowest price somebody is willing to sell. So if when you go to enter an options trade, and there is a very wide bid ask. 
uh, it's not gonna have much liquidity. Meaning that later on, when you try to close it, it's gonna be very difficult to close out, okay? So that's, this is what you can look at here to determine whether or not you're gonna get yourself into the situation in the first place. And it's gonna be harder to sell later on, okay? So now that we know that, let's go back here to our gold four option strategy and let's see what we can do here because let's pretend that we already got into this option strategy so now what can we do so if we look at the bid ask here it's 30 to 40 right so this is still kind of wide here i might be able to close it out by doing this you know all in one single uh one single thing here uh but let's just pretend we've tried to close it using this multiple times it doesn't go through it doesn't want to close what can we try next okay so that's the first thing you should do you should try to close it here but if we can't do that, what can we try next? So what we wanna do is we wanna look at this transaction here and we wanna to start to break it down into smaller transactions. So let me talk about what I mean by that. So again, this is an iron butterfly, four leg strategy. But what is an iron butterfly? If we take a look here, we sold a put at the 1950 strike. We bought a put at the 19 strike. That's just a put credit spread. And if we take a look here, we sold a call at the 1950 strike and we bought a call at the $20 strike. So again, that's just a call credit spread. So this is a combination of a call credit spread and a put credit spread. That's the way we can look at this. So why don't we try to close it? Instead of trying to close this all out at once, four legs at once, let's try to break it down into two separate smaller transactions. Try to close out the put credit spread first and then the call credit spread next. So let's go into the options here, and let's just try to close out one of these. Let's try to cl uh, close out the call credit spread. So let's take a look here at how we would do that. So again, we sold a call at the 1950 strike, we bought a call at the 20 strike. So now to close out of these, we need to do the exact opposite transaction. So to close out of the call we bought, now we need to sell that exact same call. Same strike price, same expiration. So I would click that here. And then again, we bought our, or we sold the call at the 1950 to close out of that. We need to do the opposite. We need to sell that exact same call uh, or buy that exact same call, same strike, same expiration here. And so this is what it will look like. It's gonna cost me about $31. So I'll continue this. And this is what I would try first, right? Uh, so let's actually just try like 32 here uh, and see if this goes through. So we would go ahead and submit this. Again, this is a smaller transaction. And so as you can see, it was filled here. So now let's go back here and let's take a look at our uh, home, uh, home page here and see what we have. So now, as you can see, it changed this into just a credit spread here, a put credit spread. It's no longer a four uh, multi-leg strategy. Now it's just a simple put credit spread because again, Iron Butterfly, just a combination of a call credit spread and a put credit spread. We closed out of the call credit spread. Now we're just left with the put credit spread. And again, closing these out in smaller transactions, it has a higher chance of actually closing it rather than trying to close four different options at one time. So now we would go ahead and close out of this put credit spread. Now let's say that we tried to close out of that call credit spread and that didn't go through then we would break it down even further. And I'm gonna show you that with here. So here we're just selling a put and we're buying a put. If we try sell, uh, closing this and it's not going through, then what we wanna do is we wanna close out of one, each one of these individually then, right? So let's take a look at how we would do that. So let's go back to the options here and let's go to the puts here. And so again, remember we went ahead and for the original uh, one, we sold a, a put at the 1950 we bought a put at the $19 strike. So again, let's say that that put credit, you know, we tried doing these two together, it's not closing out. Well, now let's just do one at a time. Now here's where you need to be very careful because a lot of people try to close out of the put they bought first. That's not gonna work. Why? Because if you close out of the put you bought, you're leaving yourself with one put that you sold. That's not covered, it's not a cash secured put. Robinhood's not gonna let you do that, right? And I can show you that here. If I try to close out of the put I bought by selling that exact same put, Robinhood's gonna say, no, you can't do that uh, because uh, it's just not, uh, 
it's not gonna let me do that, okay? Well, actually, it would let me do that because I have the collateral, right? But if you don't have the collateral, it's not gonna let you do that, right? So we don't wanna do that here. What we wanna do is we wanna start off first by cl uh, closing the put that we sold, right? The put that we sold, which is the 1950. You never wanna leave any uncovered uh, options that you sold, right? Uh, so you need to always get close out of the option sold first. And so I would go ahead and sell or close out of the put I sold, which is the 1950. So again, I would go ahead and buy that put back. Same strike, same expiration. We would come in here uh, and then we'll go ahead and close. So again, this is gonna be even easier now. Now that it's just one single one. Uh, and it's, we'll see here if it goes through or not. Uh, so sometimes again, you may have to you know increase uh, your limit price a little bit. Uh, it looks like yeah, we'll probably have to do that here. Uh, so 0.09, uh, so do 0 0.09 here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that here. Uh, so let's submit that. Uh, and that went through here. So now if I go back into the home page, now I'm just gonna have one simple put that I bought, right? So now, as you can see, I've closed out of three of the four legs. Now I just have the put that I bought. So now this one is gonna be a lot easier to close out, right? And I can just sell to close it here. Now we we'll go ahead and submit it. Uh, and again, it's gonna be easier to go through uh, just because again, uh, it's one single option rather than trying to do all four of them at once. Uh, so that's not going through here. Uh, so eventually it would go through. I might have to increase the limit price a little bit here, uh, but I'm not gonna do that just because I'll probably just let it fail at three. So anyways, this is how you would do it, right? If you can't close out of that four multi-leg strategy, people try to close out of, out of it all at once. Um, you need to try and break it down. So first we broke it down into a call credit spread, it put credit spread that went through. If that didn't go through, then what we did here is we went ahead and we just closed out of each option individually, right? Uh, so let me just actually close out of this just so that I can get rid of it. So might have to go to 0 0.04 again, you, or actually I might have to go down here, that's the problem. I have to go to two here uh, and we'll get $2 here for this. So I'll do that. And there you go, it got filled. So now I'm entirely out of this position, right? Uh, and again, the reason I can do that is because I, I broke it down into smaller transactions instead of trying to close all four legs at once, which will be very difficult. That'll probably have a wide bid ask. I, you know, I broke it down first until he put credit spread, then he called and he called credit spread. I was able to close out of that. But if you're not able to close out of that, you break it down even further and you start closing each individual leg by itself. You will have uh, a much higher chance of that closing rather than trying to do it all at once. So anyways, I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Check out the Discord link to it in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys next time.